Thank you for joining me, this is Flamma Mavic. Back in May 2020, so some 18 months ago, I did this video, uh, Dashware for the Mavic Mini Tutorial. And at that time, uh, a tool that was used was called the Text to CSV File Converter Program. And you could use that to create the CSV from the DJI flight logs. The problem was uh, DJI, after version 1.12 of the fly app, uh, changed the encryption level of the flight logs. So unfortunately that tool wasn't usable and it hasn't been updated. So I've been working really hard behind the scenes with a chap uh, called Zeus FL on the Mavic Pilots forum uh, to try and actually get it to work. So if you aren't familiar with what Dashware is, um, Dashware basically allows you to take your DJI flight log, convert it to a CSV file and then import it into Dashware. And then with the gauges, uh, which I will include in the V6 pack, uh, you can get a representation of all of your flight telemetry. The bottom gauge uh, was written by Zeus FL and then I've adapted that for other gauges. Uh, it shows uh, all the various things, speed, max speed, vertical speed, height, um, distance, max height, total distance, max distance, you've got your latitude, your longitude, satellite lock, battery percent, battery amp, battery voltage, battery wattage. There's also a compass, a little battery icon. You've got your sticks, as you can see, moving back and forth on the screen. A gimbal pitch icon and a map. Now, uh, the other things are just basically, I've just taken the gauges and I've just sort of reworked them into different shapes and sizes. They will all be included in the V6 file. Now, obviously you need a CSV file. And this is where the Air Data website comes in. Now, if you're not familiar with the Air Data website, you can upload your flight logs. As you can see, it gives you a representation of your flights and has all sorts of uh, nice little things you can look at, uh, power sensors, controls, weather, etc., etc. And it's a really, really good website. If you're not a member, you can sign up for free. It doesn't cost you anything, although they do do a premium version. Uh, what's most important, though, is how to actually get your uh, log files from the Air Data website. Uh, on the screen you can see here, this is the flight map here, and there's a little thing here that says CSV. If you click on that, it will download the CSV file. What is a CSV file? Let me show you. So this is a CSV file, and across the top you have various columns, uh, times, dates, uh, latitude, longitude, height, etc. And it's this file that is imported into Dashware, and it contains all the information that Dashware needs to make the CSV file convert over to all the various things such as height, speed, uh, distance, etc, etc. As of this moment though, I can only get Imperial uh, to work for the gauges. Uh, for some reason, when I try to set metric up, there's something not quite right. I have been in touch with their data. Uh, their support team has been absolutely brilliant in helping me. They've actually added extra columns of data that weren't previously in there. Um, now, if you want to use metric, then and if you can write the metric and get it to work, then please do let me know. Uh, now, when you choose the CSV file units, make sure you choose Flytrex compatible. If you want to pull down a metric file, you need to click on same units as selects above and obviously select metric. Because if you just choose Flytrex compatible, no matter what you've set your settings to, it'll always download Imperial. Not quite sure why. Again, I have mentioned this to uh, uh, Air Data Support. So before you can do anything uh, with Dashware, um, obviously we need to install it first of all. Now there's a version 1.7, version 1.9. 1.9 has a problem, so try not to use it. Uh, use 1.7. I will put a link in the description box uh, with all the files you need, including Dashware 1.7 and the new V6 files, which you can see on the screen currently here. Um, what you need to do is just install Dashware as you normally do, and then you need to copy some files into the relevant folders. Now I've actually just created a little batch file here called file copy. And what that will do is that will copy the uh, XML files into the relevant folders. So if I just double click it, you'll see a file appear here and you'll see two files appear here. There we go. So you now got the DJI Litchi app and a DJI V6 and you've got a custom data type. So once you've installed Dashware and you've copied the files across, you've now time to create a project. Dead simple. Click on file. Click on new project, and we're going to call this one uh, a test. Okay, click on OK, and you'll now see it generates the project. I'm going to add the video. This is the video file you pulled from your uh, quad. Now, if you've done a full long video, i.e. one full battery, you'll need to join the two videos together using any kind of standard uh, video editing suite. So to click on that one, click Open, and there's the video. Now we're going to add the data file in. So click on Browse, 
and then choose the CSV file which you downloaded from AirData. You'll notice it immediately chooses the DJI V6 data profile. That's how I've built them. Click on add. And that's now in. Now you are ready now uh, to add your gauges, etc. So if you go across to gauge toolbox, you'll see that if I put in DJI in the filter here, if I don't put in DJI, let's just show what happens if you don't. There's all these all these gauges here. These don't work. We need to add some of our own new gauges. To do that, we're going to click on the import gauge. And I'm going to go to my V6 folder. First one I'm going to import is a gimbal pitch icon. I shall show you why in a moment. Just give, give it a name, click add. Once you've done that, you'll now find if you type in DJI in the filter box, you'll now find your DJI gauge. We're also going to add in a full gauge with all of the telemetry data. And again, just click add again. And you've got that there. If you hold your mouse over it, it will pop up what it looks like. I'm going to drag the gimbal pitch onto the file here like this. I'm just going to make it big. Important thing to note is that if you start recording before you start your motors and the flight log and the video will be out of sync with each other. So what I do while testing is uh, I take off and then I'll tilt the camera all the way down and I use that as a reference point. Now if I just show you what happens, if I drag this bar across here, you'll see the, the, the gimbal pitch is already going down but the camera isn't. So what we need to do, we need to synchronise it. So what you need to do, if you come up to synchronisation and unsync sync with video, you then need to find the part of the video where you tilt the camera all the way down. Now I went all the way down and I went all the way up to the sky just around here. So let me just let the video play. You'll see I went up to 20 degrees and then I come to a stop. And that's the part I'm going to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag the bar across here until I see that go to 20. There we go. It's just up there somewhere. Just drag it around a little bit. There we go. I use the little button here just to give it a little bit of fine tuning. There we go. And now if I then tick sync with video and I play that, that should hopefully be in sync. There we go, down to zero. So if I just wind that back a touch, you'll see the camera goes down. Now I have noticed that the, the values don't seem to be sort of exactly bob on. As you can see, it's sort of jumping between different numbers as it tilts down. Also, fully down, it doesn't quite reach 90 either. I'm not sure if that's just the way the flight log is, um, you know, giving the data out. But now the camera comes back up again and eventually it rises to zero. I have looked in the file in the in the CSV file and these numbers are as they appear on the screen. It's a bit strange, not sure why. So that's why I use a gimbal pitch icon so I can then obviously sync perfectly the video flight with uh, what's going on, on the screen. So what we need to do then is now add in the actual uh, telemetry file, which is this one here. I'm just going to get rid of that one. I'll put that up there for a minute. Let me just shrink this down. The problem is, is once it overcovers something, it's a little bit difficult to kind of get rid of. So let me just make that a little bit smaller. We'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see. There we go. So as I drag the bar across, you'll now see all the distances, all the uh, battery data, etc., satellite lock move around. You can actually see the satellite lock is moving up and down sort of 19, 20, 22. So you don't ever get a full total fix on satellites. Well, when I was flying anyway, maybe if you're in a more open space, you may very well do. And that's it. You created your very own uh, Dashware project. Now, of course, you want to create a video as I did. All you need to do is click File, Create a Video. Find where you're going to store it on your computer. Uh, you can see here it's set to 19, 20 by 1080 with a 15, 503 bit rate and a frame rate of 23. If you are good enough to mess with those settings, then do feel free. Leave the encoder as FFmpeg preferred, and then simply click on Create Video. Now, it does take a very long time to create the video. Uh, a 20 minute video can take probably up to two to three hours to create. So don't do this late in the evening time as your PC will be running away to itself all night. So don't worry, uh, I know the gauges that only show two cells, but uh, there is actually a four cell gauge for you Mavic 3 owners if you've got four cell batteries and obviously any other quad uh, that has got four cell batteries. That particular gauge is called the DJI Imperial 4C in the gauge pack. Uh, you can use that to show your different individual cells. So before I finish the video, uh, I have managed to get Litchi uh, app uh, flight logs to work in Dashware as well. now. This has required a bit of a complete rewrite because the Litchi CSV file, which Litchi generates by default, 
has totally different column names etc uh, so it's been, I've had to do a bit of a rewrite now it doesn't have as much in as I can use with the DJI Fly app so things like uh, battery ampage, battery wattage uh, cumulative distance for, for instance isn't in the uh, in the CSV file again this will be included in the V6 files and if you do choose uh, to use Litchi as you can see here it will actually open up as a DJI Litchi app uh, CSV file Again, that's how I programmed it to work. So let me know if you find this video useful. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber, you just happen by this because you're looking at doing dashware, you know, then please do subscribe to the channel. I'm only small, so every subscription that I get does help me greatly. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks very much for watching this slightly longer video than I expected. And uh, as always, safe flame.